Hi guys, so today you're going to be doing two things from your unit six activity list. The first is graphing tides. The second is one of these three options. So let's take a look at graphing tides. So this says using your graphing checklist, which is right in your graphing note sheet that you just filled in, and this data table, we're going to make a double line graph to show high and low tides from four dates in May 2008 in New Brunswick, Maine. When you finish making your graph, you're going to insert it right into this area in your document, and then you're going to use it to answer these questions in full sentences. Okay? So just a reminder, you can just Google search, create a graph, and the top one that shows up is what you want. Now these directions say we're making a double line graph. So just some reminders of how to do that. First, when you're choosing a type of graph, choose line. Then in the data section, you're gonna put your x-axis label. This is our x-axis label and unit. Then you need to put the y-axis label. Now, we've got two sets of data. One is high tide in meters, and one is low tide in meters. So think of a title that would include both high and low tide, and make sure to keep the unit as meters in parentheses. Then you're going to make a graph title that includes both time and tide height. Now here's the thing. This time, because we're making a double line graph, we need two groups. Now, one, two, three matches one, two, three. Now something else is different from this one than from our last one. This only has one, two, three, four sets of data. Therefore, I only actually need four items. So, just like last time, this first column will go right in this first column. The second column goes right here. The third goes right here. Now, because you're doing a double line graph, you also need to create a key. So this group one, this label, you're just gonna write this. The group two label, you're just gonna write this. Once you are done, just a reminder, click the preview button, make sure everything looks okay. You've got a title, an x-axis label and unit, a y-axis label and unit, and you've got two lines on your graph, one purple, one green. Then either copy the image or take a screenshot and paste it right here. Finally, you're gonna answer these questions. When you're done, please submit this to Schoology and then pick one activity, one, from this optional section to do today. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know.